Brandon, in fourth straight 20 plus uh, performance, season high 11 threes. Um, and then I'm not sure on the points in the paint for ORU relative to what we've given up in the past, but 56 is the season high uh, for an opponent. Middle Tennessee had 46 when they came here, um, but minus 36 uh, in the paint is has probably not happened under Joe, but I'll confirm that in the coming days. Uh, we'll start with uh, Coach and open it up. Well, obviously, you have to give Oral Roberts credit. Aggressors the entire game. Energy finds the ball. They found the ball. They controlled the game from the beginning to the end. It's an abysmal performance by us, partly created by them and partly created by us. And we've got a lot of work to do. So we need to figure this out quickly. But they, they took the fight to us from the beginning, and we never recovered. Joe, you look good at UT Arlington. Are you as stunned as we are at this? That's about there? the first three months I wasn't. I mean, it, it, it was, it was our, our, our energy level and our body language, it, 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 it was awful. That's on us. And this has to be particularly stunning for you. I mean, your teams always rebound. They always play good defense, and none of that's happening right now, especially yes. tonight. I can complete agreement. Uh, Brandon, you as surprised as we are by this tonight, especially on the heels of the really nice win at UT Arlington. I am. Uh, we had a great week of practice, a uh, great shoot around. And, you know, our energy leading up to the game was was, was great to me. Um, guys flying around, playing for one another, and then we just we just we didn't come out with the energy that all robbers did. All robbers did, and um, you know, like Coach said, energy finds the ball. And, how do you write this thing, Brandon? I'm not, I'm not sure, to be honest. It's a, it's a team thing. We're going to have to, players are going to have to regroup and figure something out, honestly. Um, we keep saying oh, it's a long season, it's a long season, but it's, it's not <laughs> really. You only get about 30 games. and So we'll figure it out um, starting tomorrow. We just have to figure it out. Joe, a positive tonight, obviously, was Michael. I thought he played quite well for his, for his debut with you guys. We, he did some good things, but I mean, it, it, none of that, it, you know, no one played. That was a debacle. I had, had some dire I'm, I apologize to our fans. That's, they, they don't deserve to have to watch that. A couple of uh, just uh, uh, Carlisle status on him, concussion, I know. We're not, that's a day-to-day -day deal. We'll, we'll keep going through pro protocol. And then Brandon didn't start, I understand, with some minor team mm -hmm. deal. No yep. big deal. No big deal. That's done. That's done. Over. Not done. Okay. Well, Michael, I know you guys are upset about tonight, you know, the team thing, but how did you feel out there? Again, I, I thought you looked pretty good out there. Man. Um, it wasn't an individual performance. We, um, we lost the game. We got dominated on the backboard. We didn't play defense very well, so, I mean, with all the positives and this being my first game, we still have a lot of things we have to work on as a team. So, I mean, we have to get ready and get get started on that as soon as tomorrow. Hey, uh, Greg Hardy with Collier Sports mm -hmm. Insider. Um, this seems to be, from a talent standpoint, one of the deepest teams that you guys have had in this program. Uh, are you in a place right now where you're trying to find the, the right chemistry, the right rotation? No, we're trying to find one guy that will rebound the ball. Okay. So deep, we're not deep. We got. We can't find one guy to rebound the ball. So that deep is when you got too many guys to get them on the court. We're, we're, we're not at that point right now. Joe, did you think rebounding was going to be this, as much of an issue as it's been this season? Back Didn't. The did not. Now, we knew with Meech you lose some rebounding. Mark, statistically, he was a good rebounder, but he ran down a lot of loose balls as opposed to rebounding the ball. He, he, he got a lot of loose balls, and we don't get any loose balls. We stand and watch, and um, that, that's, a, that's a major concern. Front court defense again was an issue tonight. Saw a lot of uh, cut, saw a lot of baseline cuts, backdoor cuts. How do you how do you coach that? We work on it every day, and we'll show the tape, and we'll ask what happened. And it'll, it's not like we do in shell, and it, it comes down to wanting to stop somebody. You know, you can get, have all the technique and everything. We, we've got to develop a, a pride that we want to stop somebody and get some stops, and we don't have that mentality right now. We just want to run around and try to outscore everybody, which is a recipe for disaster. Obviously, conference play is the most important part of the season for you guys, but now after these last couple of games, is it? are there some red flags? Is it time to start being concerned? So I think we're concerned every day. Uh, you know, we lose three straight home games. I mean, that's, that's a concern that you lose one, let alone three in a row. Joe, one thing I forgot to ask you, I'm sorry, is uh, Christian heard of uh, concussion in practice yesterday? or It was uh, uh, about two Wednesday, Thursday. It was Thursday. Thursday? Okay, thank you. 
Thanks. Thanks for coming, guys.